Hey everyone, um, it's a lead code question, um, and uh, at the very beginning, uh, we have a pretty good shape summarizing different categories of the coding questions by the data structure algorithm and the different companies, and also we have some system videos, uh, system design videos, and some summary about some good uh, behavior questions. Uh, so feel free to take a look at this sheet and uh, go to the corresponding link about the YouTube video in case you are interested in some uh, specific um, coding questions. So let's go back to this uh, specific question. So break a palindrome. So the question is asking that you're given a input string which is a palindrome, replace exactly just one character to make the palindrome string to be non-palindrome. And uh, also, after the replacement, it should be the lexically, graph lexical graphically smallest one among all the possibilities. And if there's no way to replace the one character to make it non palindrome we just return the string. So, um, in the real interview, the first step is always to try to understand the question, and now we are in good shape understanding the question. Um, so the next step is about finding a solution. So it is actually a linear solution we could find. So there are several different cases. If the length of the input string is smaller or equal to one, then it, there's no way to make it non-palindrome, actually. Uh, if it is larger than one, then um, there are two different cases, whether the length of the palindrome string is even or odd. So regardless of that, let's uh, look at how to solve it in general. So we will go through every of the character within the uh, within the pulling jump string so if we notice that um, it is not a then we can simply replace the current character with a to make it non pulling jump and also make the like makes it lexically lexical graphically uh, smallest one and also one thing we need to notice is that if the length of the pulling jump string is odd and uh, we are actually looking at the middle character then we just need to continue it because even we replace it or not, it is not going to change the property of the string whether it is palindrome or not. And also, if at the end we all of, all of the characters are composed by A, then we just need to replace the last character with B to make it non palindrome. So that's pretty much about the solution, which is a linear solution. Um, and also, um, after you're done with the finding solution part, you do some coding like this, care about the correctness, uh, the readability, which means uh, some naming convention, whether you can decompose some, sub, uh, some code into some helper function to make it cleaner, and also some formatting stuff. And also the last one, after you're done with coding, feel free to use this kind of platform, uh, which is, if it is runnable platform, feel free to use it and to help you debug. If not, then um, you will need to go through some test cases manually to explain how this piece of code is going to work. So that's essentially how uh, a coding interview works. Understanding the problem first, then finding the solution, and then do some coding. After that, do some testing. So that's it for uh, this video. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.